Hi guys, back in 2016, Leave supporters dismissed any notion that the NHS or healthcare would be in trouble as part of Project Fear. Talk of medicine shortages was scaremongering by people who didn't want Britain to be free of the shackles of the EU. Well, it seems once again Project Fear has turned into Project Reality. The Independent had an article on Monday claiming that Brexit is either making medicine shortages more acute or driving up costs for the NHS. It reports that the UK is facing a severe problem of supply delays for vital medicines such as antibiotics, HRT and ADHD drugs. The NHS has to pay more to get the drugs into the country and the shortages are affecting the health and anxiety of patients who rely on these medicines. The article cites health experts, pharmacists and former Health Secretary Stephen Dorrell to back up these claims. The article explains that Brexit is a major factor in medicine shortages as it has created extra costs, paperwork and regulatory barriers for international medicine suppliers. It also highlights a report by the Independent Commission on UK-EU relations which points to the Brexit trade deal and the loss of integration in the medicine supply chain as a cause of the problem. Research by Nuffield Trust shows that a significant number of price concessions granted to the NHS by the government has increased significantly since the Brexit vote in 2016. But outside Brexit, we must take into account other issues such as manufacturing problems, the war in Ukraine and inflation. While medicine shortages are a European-wide problem, Brexit doesn't get off the hook as it's a contributing factor for a particularly acute problem in Britain. The piece in The Independent also notes that the NHS can stockpile many of the scarcer drugs because they go out of date and that Brexit has made it harder to get life-saving drugs into the UK when they're needed. So what can be done about this? Some possible solutions to ease the medicine shortages such as mutual recognition of batch testing standards with the EU, changing regulations to allow pharmacists to adjust prescriptions and create ethical standards and public awareness on medicine supply would go some way. Some good news on that front is that a Labour government would be more likely to work closely with the EU to resolve some of these problems while the Tories at the minute just want to stick their heads in the sand. The government and industry have been urged to work together to ensure the safety and benefits of medicine. The Independent reached out to the government for a response and the Department of Health and Social Care says that it has well-established procedures to deal with medicine supply problems and works closely with industry, the NHS and others to prevent shortages and resolve any issues as soon as they arrive. The standard response. I'll leave a link to the article in the description of this video, but once again, there aren't any real upsides to Brexit, but considerable downsides. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.